<clears throat> good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning, good morning, good morning. All right. I see that we have a bit of an earlier showing today. And again, that's that's super relative, right? So when I press go live, I can see who's been waiting because they're the ones to jump on right away. And through um, doing lives every day for like at least months, but doing lives consistently for years now, I have a certain sense of what time of day, what day of the week, and individuals that um, are representative of, of, oh, it's it's Saturday, or, oh, it's, it's Tuesday. And on a Wednesday, I, I think on Tuesday and Wednesday, we have our largest showing the as quick as possible. Uh, maybe it's just because we're in the meat of the week, right? Cool. So I do want to share something that's unique, and it's, it's kind of it's kind of caught me. It's completely unrelated to Rhino. So my son was in the hot. Well, he's still in the hospital. He stayed overnight. Uh, he had his tonsil surgery yesterday, and everything's great. In fact, they're discharging him soon, and everything's great. So thank God, right? That being said, I woke up this morning and my throat was so sore. It's still so sore. And I'm thinking back at what could have caused that. And, and I, I don't know. I, I didn't do anything differently yesterday. I'm, I'm, I'm healthy. And uh, it's completely psychosomatic. Like, like, I'm so connected to my son that him having his tonsils removed is equaling a sore throat for me. And that's, as a parent, that's totally creepy. Like, what? Um, so I just wanted to share that because it's, it's something I never thought would happen. It's really, it's cool, uh, scary, and totally loved. So cool. All right, let's get to some updates. So I was in the hospital. Hey, Deborah, I was in the hospital yesterday while taking the team calls because I, I, I went to the hospital right after our live because my son just, you just know when he needs you, right? So I didn't get much work done. Well, during the day, I worked at night. But there were things that I, I knew I had to get done. And that was our team call about the bot. Now, really, really good stuff. So the bot is actually, hey, Abdul, uh, thank you so much. So the bot is nearly complete. All the components of it are completed except one. And of course, it's like, well, it's not even the biggest one. It's just the first one. So our collaboration with Microsoft Azure, 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 whatever, um, Oh, thanks for name. Um, it's a little bit complicated and confusing. So there was a, there's a submission that allows us to upload all of our questions and answers as it pertains to Rhino Box. The goal of the upload is that the bot would then take in those question and answer combinations and be able to, oh, wow, St. George is in the house. Hey, Angus, thanks. Um, the bot would be able to go ahead and say, okay, um, do you like football? Yes. Okay, this person likes football. Do you like baseball? Yes. Okay, this person likes sports. Um, and then the bot would be able to speak to someone and say, hey, I, I tell that you like sports, right? The point being, it could take in all of those question and answer combinations, identify, analyze them, and then regurgitate natural speak by um, identifying the probabilities of um, things you can extrapolate from it, right? So, for instance, if you like baseball, you like football, you like hockey, well, I can extrapolate that you're probably a sports fan. I can extrapolate that one of two things are true. You either played sports or you watch sports, right? Like, there's things you can extrapolate, and then with all the other question and answer combinations, you can then further narrow down the extrapolations you made to be the highest probability, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we did that, and I spent God knows how long creating those 822 question and answer combinations. The problem was that when we uploaded it, we uploaded it as straight question answer, which is fine. That's okay. But the thing that we were missing was Microsoft Asia has their own version of um, their AI. It's called Lewis. It's like their language, blah, blah, intelligence system. I forgot what they used to have to. And we have to integrate that into the question answer combination because that's the component that is exactly what I just shared with you. The good news is, well, we know that now. The, I guess there's no bad news. The explanation news why it's not completed yet is because now we know that. I don't think it's going to take too long to do. Um, 
I think it's just creating the app with Lewis now. Uh, so I will be getting back with my team at three o'clock today, but it's only Wednesday. Like that's really cool. So I do believe still it's going to be completed by Friday. Now, as a corollary to that, I was then talking to, you know, after that conversation, I said, all right, so I got to tell you something because I've been sharing it with our rhinos. I want to turn this into an affiliate. He's like, oh my God, Ant, do you know how many extra layers of, of work that is? I go, yeah, well, I don't, but that's not something that's going to stop me. And of course he joked. He's like, yeah, <laughs> why would it, right? Um, and I said to him, I go, well, let's take a step back, right? Like, let's, let's, let's kind of think this out loud. We went with Microsoft Asia because they're the best, right? That's okay. I don't think we need to go ahead and, and make separate accounts with Microsoft to go ahead and create that affiliate bot for everyone else. I think it's okay to have the latest and greatest and the, the iPhone 20 for yourself and to go ahead and produce scale or for the iPhone 10 to everybody else. Because what do we need? Well, we need everything, right? Like we needed to be able to do everything. What would our affiliates need? Well, they only needed to do one thing, right? So we don't need it to give the iPhone 20 to everyone. We could give the iPhone 5. And that's not a commentary on, hey, we want the best and let's give you the worst. It's a commentary on if we wanna produce scale, well, then it has to be as simplified as possible. So let's identify what your needs are and make sure that we create the platform that accomplishes those needs and, and maybe just those needs so that we could get it out there. Um, so I will be doing some research on that. I would say that's probably two to three weeks away. I don't know if my tech team would agree with me, but I'm going to say that, right? And everyone here knows I've, I'm a bit of an optimist and uh, I, I, I sometimes guide expectations to be a little bit sooner than they actually are. In fact, I've done that with everything. But one of these days, I'm going to hit it. So I would say two or three weeks out. Whisper is completed. I am so excited. I know it doesn't look like I was so excited, right? Like I'm, my throat is killing me. I am so excited. So the only platform, the only browser doesn't work with is Safari. And again, we're working with Apple on that. But I have tried it. You can go on to, and I would love to do it on the computer. But because I have the headphones, the volume, the, the audio is taken from this and you won't hear it. But if you go on Chrome or Edge or any of those other browsers and, t and, and press the button and say something, it converts your voice to text. It then submits your text through our search, which is the API for ChatGPT4. Then it identifies the solution, brings it back up, and then speaks it to you. And it speaks it to you in a British accent. Yes. I have Safari. So Deb, um, you can have more than one browser. I have Safari too, I'm on an Apple, but I have Chrome. So you could actually go to, I don't know what it is, probably chrome.com or something, and you could download Chrome, which is what we use for all of our, which is what we use for all of our um, crypto stuff, uh, because Chrome is very crypto friendly. So you could have, you could have 20 browsers, um, uh, just a commentary on that, if, if you would like it. Um, but yeah, most of us have Safari, which is because we all have Apple. Uh, so we're working on that. So that is done. And that's super cool. <laughs> Dev, you make me laugh. It's like when you say I also have Chrome, it completely negates why you would say I have Safari. It's like, well, I love you. Anyway, um, so that's that. The We sent out an email yesterday uh, talking about... Uh, Rhino Bucks. It wasn't actually as successful as we wanted it to be. I think uh, I don't think we had any new signups for Rhino Bucks, which is fine. It was sent out seven thirty. You, you you sometimes see there's a one or two or three day period where where it continues. Uh, today we added ten thousand new emails to our uh, to our emailing. So tonight's seven thirty email will be to ten thousand new people that have never heard from us. I think I'm going to probably talk Rhino Street. Because any times you're talking to that many new people, you don't want a bad outcome. So I don't want to be selling anything. I want to be offering something of value for free. And um, I think Rhino Street is, is really good at that. So uh, tonight's email will be Rhino Street. Which, by the way, if you have not listed your business or anything of the sort, make sure you do. And it will be on the email tonight. The amount of work we did on Rhino Street, do you know it, you have local maps on it now? 
you could actually list uh, streets. You could go ahead and, and see the pins of where the people are located. It's really, really cool. So we'll make that all known in the email. So if you knew nothing about Rhino Streets, you are going to learn a whole lot today, which will be cool. Um, yesterday, I was playing around with Twitter, trying to create the prompts. Again, I was in the hospital. Um, but that doesn't negate the fact that at the end of the day, I was trying to do it. And it was just difficult. And it's difficult in the sense that I think I'm just doing it wrong. Because it's very comprehensive. Like, for instance, you have to pull all the information that you want it to know. And then you have to go ahead and identify the style you want it to speak in or think in. And then you have to continue testing because you give it examples. Like, for instance, um, here's a tweet I want to respond to. What would your response be? And it'll say something of this rhino revolution is uh, uh, revolutionizing financial wealth and all these buzzwords that you're like, I don't want those words. So you continue, continue and, and avoid this word, avoid this word, avoid this word. And eventually, after a couple hours, you get down to something that you're like, oh, this is cool. And then you realize that you were in the forest looking at a single tree. You missed the whole forest and you don't even like what it's doing. Um, so I wouldn't say I wasted three hours. I would say that I, I spent three hours um, learning what not to do. So I won't do it today. Um, but we did a couple of tweets yesterday. We got a couple. We got one retweet, which was pretty cool. We got no new follows. It was like 10 likes. Um, so it's better than zero, right? So we're moving in the right direction. Um, so that's that. I do want to spend some time putting Hipsuasion up on the hub. It's not urgent. It's, it, I just want it there. Uh, I don't know if I'll have the time to do it today, but that's on the to-do list. Um, I, think, I think that's it, right? So everything is going well. We're going to buy some more Rhino right now. I was waiting for the money to clear. It should be cleared by now. Um, not much, a couple hundred bucks, but we're going to do that right now. And I think, I think that's it. Bot, whisper, numbers, everything's good, everything's good, everything's good. Oh, lastly, so for those that remember Abigail, right? So for those that don't remember Abigail, she was kind of like my, my right hand and totally fantastic. She is like the most unique, well, I don't know who the most unique person is, but she was uniquely opposite me, right? Like the only thing we had in common is that we both liked women, right? Like, so she was as opposite as she could possibly be of me. And um, the cool part about it was we kind of, um, we kind of ground floored Rhino together, right? Like all of the initial ideas of Rhino, we would, we worked in an office together and we would talk back and forth. And if, if everyone, if anyone remembers, we bought rhood.com, right? We wanted to be Robin Hood. So it was R, but our hood was purchased. So we spelt our hood with the O's being zeros because we're like, oh, crypto was zeros, cool, techie. And we're like, oh, I wish we could own Robinhood.com, or, you know, Rhino's Robinhood, like our hood. And it dawned on me the other day, Rhino hood. So I went on, I bought the UR really quickly and I got it. And it was just one of those like, Phew, like, duh, how did we not think about that? So I messaged her that second. I go, how did we not think about this? She goes, oh, Anthony, we were so young. <laughs> I started laughing so hard. And that was her one-liner, right? Um, so I just wanted to share, there will be something with that site. I don't know when or where, but when the opportunity presents itself, we will, um, we will move on it. But the foundational, like for those that ever wanted to explain Rhino in a really quick, easy way, oh yeah, they're, they're like the digital Robin Hood. And that, and you know what they do, right? Like you don't need to know every nitty gritty, but you know the culture of them, the values of Rhino is they're the digital Robin Hood. Okay, yeah, great. So they're taking from over here and they're giving it over here. That's great. Um, and Rhino Hood, like, duh. So I got to see what I'm going to do with that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I want to do something. So that's it. Let me get to work because I am going to try to free my schedule up because my, my son's coming home today and I... I already did all the balloons and all the everything in the house. Um, and I was already working from really early. So let me get going. Totally love everyone. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.